Hello everyone and welcome to the tour of the 6,020 piece Lego Hogwarts castle. We've been staring at the founders for the last uh, 11 seconds. So now we're going to move on to the boathouse where all of our first years begin their journey. Uh, Hagrid's already dropped them off as you can see. And there is the boathouse. Pretty cool. There's these cool you can't see them, but there's some cool windows um, in the inside. Weird little detail. Here we have the Whomping Willow. It moves, and the Ford Anglia uh, just fell out. And these parts move as well, the arms here. But it's hard for me to do that while I am holding my phone, so I'm going to leave that there. Ford Anglia is put back. Hey, it looks like Ron and... Uh, Harry have just started book two, The Chamber of Secrets. And here we have Hagrid's cabin. That's his pumpkin patch right there. And in the back and or front, I think that's the back, we have Aragog. And here, uh, back in the pumpkin patch, you can see the door leading up to Hagrid's, Hagrid's uh, cabin. So here I'm going to uh, kind of roll back and sweep uh, the castle here. We have... Uh, Here's the side of it. There is the Great Hall entrance. That stained glass was a pain in the neck. Oh, I just knocked something off trying to shut the doors. Um, <laughs> oh, this is why I did not go live for a tour because it is what I knock off. Uh, oh, a little micro figure. Okay, um, and I don't know if you'll notice, there's Voldemort. Oh my goodness, let's see if I can turn him around. There, it's a micro figure. There's Voldemort, he's trying to get in. Okay, I'm gonna sweep back here and try to show you the whole castle. We have the Norwegian, Norwegian Ridgeback on the tower there and Dementors flying around. This must be also, all the timelines are merged together, so this must also be once uh, Voldemort is trying to attack um, Hogwarts. Also, if I didn't say it already, ignore this spaceship. My uh, son and husband put that together. You might have noticed it in the back of all my pictures, uh, and he didn't want to move it. Okay. So, I'm about to pause this and turn it around because it's two giant pieces. It's pretty heavy and it is hard to move with only one hand. To be continued. And we're back. Okay, here is the Great Hall entrance. And uh, there's a little seating area. You can see a student's kind of chilling out. A couple other students are, have arrived. And here is the micro figure that I knocked down. Let's put them somewhere else. Uh, just kind of hanging out near this study area. And down below, not quite in the right spot, but we'll forgive them, is the room of requirement. You see Draco, oops, you see Draco Malfoy's in there trying to fix the vanishing cabinet. And here we have potions. Poor Neville is stuck in detention with Professor Snape. We're going to scroll around over here and pass a bunch of stuff we'll come back to in a second. Here we have the Great Hall. There's uh, Professor McGonagall's in there and another student. And the Hogwarts banners. Again, the stained glass was well, a pain in the neck. Uh, around over... Where is it? <laughs> I don't know how you see it. But uh, the Devil's Snare is hiding right now. Anyway, we're going to start up here. You see some Dementors still and the Norwegian Ridgeback. And here is Dumbledore uh, talking to Sirius Black. And we're going to go down to the gargoyle that guards Dumbledore's office. And here we have the prefix slash Moaning Myrtle's bathroom with a student in there. Though this middle bit is sinks. So I'd like to thank Phoenix for helping me uh, figure that nonsense out. All these tiny details. So here we have the moving staircase in the center. And here's our three main characters. We have Hermione, Ron, and Harry. And down to the entrance of the Chamber of Secrets. And then over here is the basilisks, uh, the main chamber, and that black one piece there is the diary. 
So now we're going to move over through um, into where the Sorcerer's Stone was being held. We have the key room with a broomstick there. Guess only Harry gets to fly around. Doesn't get help with his, from his friends. We have the giant chess set right here. And coming around, we have the flaming room with the Mirror of Erised and the Sorcerer's Stone. We're going to come back up here to the hallway where the message for the Chamber of Secrets is. There's a professor looking at that, a couple students in the hallway. And then going up, we have Defense Against the Dark Arts. I don't know what the magnifying glasses are about, so or the bullhorn right there. So if you have any ideas, feel free to let me know. Again, they reference the movies. If you remember in the movie for, I think it was uh, The Chamber of Secrets, the classroom had this skeleton in it where um, Neville Longbottom got pulled up onto it by the pixies, and the Cornish pixies, which are also featured here. So again, not sure what the magnifying glasses are about, but anyway. Over here we have Professor Umbridge's office. Lots of Defense Against the Dark Arts teachers in Hogwarts right now. Uh, the white pips in the back are her, or one little rounds are the kitty plates. Uh, it's a very pink office. And let's see, coming around over... Oh, did I get everything? Oh, I think I got everything, so sorry for vaguely drifting with the camera around there. That is basically the Hogwarts castle. It took me, goodness, uh, I would say probably about 20 plus hours to get it put together. We could probably go back and see how many, how much time there was between photos. I'm sure I worked on this last, the last like seven or eight bags for, I don't know, five hours, so... It's been uh, quite a journey. I hope you enjoyed going along with me. Cheers.